again, it, everything has to line up perfectly, but if those conditions are there, guys like that can win against teams like Lee. Good plans executing, and, you know, something's going to fall our way. We just got to be ready for it. Pro men underway and rolling as the sun sets here in downtown Boise. And we're off and racing with the Star Stripes jersey of Luke Lamperti hitting out early. Now, I think this is just like Legion wanted to do, wanted to, to do in the women's race. It's like, uh, you know there's going to be incidents. You know stuff's going to start getting sketchy out there. And so Lamperti says, I'm just going to try and stay ahead of that stuff if I can. Yep. Um, so we got Luke in the next group coming behind in a good position for a counterattack with a gap. This is now, wow. what, 10, 12 guys? Yeah. Big group with some horsepower. Here. So a second group coming up to join the original five leaders. Three Blazers. Oh, yeah, and these guys know this is way yeah. too big. So Blazers going to try and split it again. Cliff Bar going to sit back and try and block here for a Malervi up the road. The Malervies, I think I should say. Yeah, looks like the twins are up there. You've got two Legion, two best buddies, or just one. You got Luke up there now. Looks like both of Cliff Bar's A riders have made it to our end. And Kevin. They're going to like this. CS Fellows made it. Empires made it. You know, all, all the players seemingly have it up the road. Now it's, <laughs> do they like the combos? Do, the, do they like these matchups we were talking about earlier? You know, is the right players mark the right players? Um, Talk to me a little bit about what goes into a match. I mean, what do you look for when you're evaluating a breakaway, when you're looking at the other guys in there? Obviously, I would think number one is you want to be able to beat them in a sprint, right? But this next group coming across, Gibbons, Corey Williams, um, just adding to the horsepower and the, the right matchups, you know, at the front of this race. You can see that he's, you know, attacking Gibbons. Just make it work for it. If he's going to get in the break, he might as well make him tired up there. flick on the front here for Cliff Bar. Yeah, so now these guys got to reevaluate. How much effort does Cliff Bar put in now that you have Corey Williams, the fast guy? Yeah, but yeah. yeah he's got some teammates. Do you really want to put all that horsepower? Um, you know, now it's, you got to turn the tables, make them work. But best buddies, they should do nothing. Alfredo missed the move. He's their guy. They go to the back. Well, you don't go both guys to back. You put one guy at the back, one guy in the middle just in case it splits. Yeah. But they don't need to contribute to this. Unless you think Curtis White can win out of this one. Yeah, but again, that same tactic. Hey, we're, our guy's in the back. We don't have to work. You know, and that gives those two guys a free ride. You're not saying that you want to kill the move. You're just not going to contribute to it. Recover, give them a couple laps, and then they can get back to equal contributions and your chances of success you know, only increase. Um, definitely 17 laps ago is not the time to be working working over your, your breakaway mates. Marshall going again out of the saddle to redouble the efforts here. It's nice to see Kaylor Marshall mixing it up in these criteria. He's a guy who does a lot of road racing in his career. Uh, raced Wetlands earlier this year. Uh, came back and did Joe Martin in uh, Arkansas. Got a 11th place finish there on stage two. Oh, big crash here, big oh, crash. Oh, man, Rodriguez huge crash. Brandon Fury, Clever Martinez, Gibbons. Definitely some of the, you know, the leaders. Yeah, a lot of big runners. names in this one. It's 16 laps to go. Now, these Draft riders so. are going to be able to get a free lap if this race continues. They're together. Um, you know, Best Buddies has the most work to do kind of uh, out of everybody. They they don't seem to be as organized as, as everybody else in terms of, you know, being in a row. Um, you know, and they, they've got even more ground to make up by not being right there on Legion and, and Luke. You know, they've got two extra guys to pass, you know, more than they they really, really want. CS Velo getting some honors up there as well. Corey Williams at the very back of this line, the Purdy right behind him. Legion is really, seemingly really want to take the pace sooner than they normally would, but that's to their advantage in the circumstance of, you know, making anybody come from the back that much harder. Um, you know, but look at Hernandez getting up onto the wheel of Lamperti now. Hernandez in good position. A little further back is Brandon Fury waiting for his opportunity. 
And then Martinez, not a whole lot of fighting for that rear wheel of Lemperti yet, but it'll come. Yeah, now it's Hernandez and Clever is, you know, for a guy like Luke, they're doing, they're, they're teammates, they're protecting his wheel, they're spending a lot of energy. Um, and that's exactly what Luke wants, is just the easiest ride on the, the back of that train. And this will take us down to the final lap of racing. Cowan giving everything he has in support of the Legion team. He'll pull off before the end of this one. He's going to turn it over to Tyler Williams up next. Yeah, I mean, Tyler should be, you know, really keeping momentum and going out of this corner and, and not hesitate. He, yep, exactly. There's the elbow flick. He's done. Then comes yeah, Tyler, Williams, Ty, Justin, Ty Wagner. Corey. Here comes the stars and stripes of Luke Lamperti trying to move up a little bit. Now it's on. They're starting to fight for position. Lamperti has infiltrated the Legion train once again. He gets in front of Corey Williams here. That's but now perfect. he's on the wheel of Magner. Hernandez is behind him on the wheel of Lamperti. I'm sorry, now on the wheel of Williams. And now, out of the final turn. What a drag race. What a drag race. This will go down to a two-up sprint between Magner and Lamperti to the line. It'll be a photo finish. And Holy smokes. I don't know if they know who got it. Magner oh. celebrating. So I think Legion got it on the inside, but it will be a photo finish on the line between Luke Lamperti and Ty Magner. And there's your confirmation. Ty Magner wins in Boise.